Hey guys. Garrett, uh, what have you seen out of uh, Washington State's defense so far? Um, I mean, we've taken a little bit look into just like their blitzes and and uh, obviously just looking at the guys who are going against um, their lighter guys this week. And obviously they're a good defense. Um, they've been doing pretty well and just being able to watch from different past games is kind of just where we're going from there. Um, and then just working on the, the different blitzes and all that stuff too, yeah. How much of the focus the past week has just been on you guys and kind of improving your communication up front? Uh, it's huge. Um, I mean, we've been pressing the, the communication button a lot. We've been trying to really focus on getting all those guys to turn into one brain and one unit and just be able to get that job done. Um, I think we're going to be doing a better job communicating wise. And we had a little talk just about pressing our uh, opposing our will against the other person and just doing that together as a group. Um, but yeah, yeah. How, doing much, how difficult is that to kind of build that um, kind of synergy on an offensive line, especially with so many new faces? Yeah, I mean, we, we had new guys every year. And um, I mean, this year, obviously, we have a couple, three new guys. And yeah, I, I've known two of them, three of them my entire life. So, I mean, not my entire life, but <laughs> since I've been here, sorry. Um, your, entire, your entire college career. College career, career yeah. And um, I, it's just, we just got to work together and... I, Coach AB uh, really talks about cohesiveness and camaraderie, and um, we're really pushing those into the team as well and just trying to build that cohesiveness and camaraderie. And um, it just takes a while to be able to build that group and trust each other. And I mean, we obviously trust each other, but being able to build that communication and camaraderie, yeah. How much does that um, that kind of communication? How much of that happens pre-snap versus in the moment when you're trying to like hand off a block to somebody and you know, pivot to somebody else? Yeah, um, there's a lot of pre-snap stuff, um, and honestly, just after the snap, it's just reaction and just how fast you can get there. I, I feel like in just being able to communicate beforehand is is really huge for us and being able to be like, okay, we're going there, we're going to, we're doing this, yeah. So I think it's huge beforehand, yeah. And is it some of it uh, reps learning what guys like to do so you can kind of do some of it unspoken or any of that? Any of that? Um, I mean, during practice, we, we get different looks and it helps us just be able to, to see those looks and be able to adjust to those as well and just keep our mind open to those different kinds of looks, yeah. Right. Um, and then how have you guys felt you've done kind of run blocking wise so far this year? I think... Um, we have to do a better job of finishing and um, sticking onto our blocks and, and just really uh, imposing our will. Like we, we really uh, impose our will is a big thing in the old line room. And I think we just have to do a better job of finishing blocks and just sticking. And how have you seen uh, Dante respond to, uh, you know, what was a rougher game offensively against Utah? Yeah, um, I think Dante's doing a really good job this week, um, just really locking in on this this next game, the next test, um, not really wor worrying about the past game and just really locking in on the next one, yeah. Awesome. All right, thanks, Gary. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Thank you. Save the best for last, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, big challenge this week. Mm -hmm. What have you, you guys seen? I mean, you probably even had a little bit more prep because of the bye week uh, for these guys, right? So you probably mm -hmm. spent a lot of time looking at them. Yeah. What what uh, what challenges do they present? I mean, they have a different offense than normal. You know what I mean? So like they really come out, they throw the ball a lot more, 80, 90 snaps a game. You know, they're really quick pace, tempo team. So it's really going to be a challenge in the sense of get the call, backfield set, execute the call, and then repeat at a high level. So I feel like that's going to be our biggest challenge this week. And then also, too, they got a quarterback and they got some receivers who can go. And um, I feel like we can do our jobs. We'll come away with the result we want. What do you guys have to do to limit their passing game? I mean, you got to get up to the pass. So yeah. I mean, the uh, quarterback, you know what I mean? I mean, I feel like that's every week, you know, to really yeah. limit them, make them run the ball. You know, they don't, they don't really want to run the ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. I make them do the opposite of what they're doing. So I feel like if we could do that, we'll be in good shape. Um, you know, a lot of talk about the conditioning that you guys did in the off season. You think that will help in a game like this? Where you talked about all the I think I think it does. I think it that helps every week. You know what yeah. I mean? So you know, going to Utah, high elevation games is a little bit different breathing. And then we go to this week is going to be high tempo, a lot of snaps. So I feel like you know, off season prep really matters. You know, now is really what's going to kick in. Um, uh, at this point, playing a huge role for this defense. Is this kind of everything you imagined it would be when you transferred in? 
Uh, I mean, I just wanted this to work. You know what I mean? I feel like I always wanted to play. I wanted to just to give my, a team an opportunity and just show showcase what I know I can do. You know what I mean? So now that I'm showing what I can do, I just want to do what I can do and win. You know, at the end of the day, that's all I want to do is just win and help to be the best defense that we could possibly be. Do you like challenges like this week? I mean, obviously it's a huge challenge, number two passing attack in the country. I love challenges. I feel like that's why I play the game. You yeah. know what I mean? And I want to continue to play the game at a high level. So to do that, you got to play high high competition, high value game. So this is one of them. So I'm excited for sure. What have you seen out of the interior of their offensive line? They're good. You know what I mean? They're good. You know, just like every week we play, I feel like nobody in this conference is, is bad. You know what I mean? So every week we, it's going to be a challenge. You know, we're facing NFL guys weekly. You know what I mean? So these guys are going to come out and bring their best. I know we're going to bring our best. So they got they got their guys and they know what they're going to do. They're going to execute at a high level for sure. I know they don't run the ball a ton, but what have you seen out of their running game specifically? Um. I mean, it's just, it's really not that much running game, you know what I mean? But I feel like what they, when they do run the ball, they like to, you know, get to the edges, you know, they still like to do that. They're not really a big power team and they just like to really play side to side a lot. You know what I mean? They don't really want to impose the will in the middle, but I mean, if they do, they do. That's what it is. So, but uh, yeah, it's really sideline to sideline type stuff. Dude, it's up on the uh, NIL collective men of Westwood. Are you, are you doing anything with them? I haven't got no contact, no nothing okay. like that yet. So, I mean, when I do, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> right. Do you have any kind of NIL stuff going on? No, not right now. Not that I'm aware of, at least. Okay. All right. Is that something that you would like to do? I mean, of course. I mean, I yeah. think every college student would love to do some NIL. You know yeah. what I mean? I think yeah. everybody like makes some money. You yeah. know what I mean? So, if I can get some money, I mean, shoot. Hopefully, I can spread it to the team, too. You know, the front, the defense. Because, you know, we all deserve it. You know what I mean? I feel like we're playing our hardest. How we doing what we got to do. So, if it happens to me, Hope I can spread it to the team. If it happens to the team, we spread it to everybody. You know what I mean? So that's how I, I view the NIL right now. Great. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.